Welcome back to TK Dennis. In today's video, we're talking about how to establish an effective warm up and practice routine. Dana and I, my wife Dana and I here, this is pretty much the routine we yeah, use every too. time we go out, and we're going to tell you why it's important and some of the fundamental problems we see with other people sort of rushing onto the courts and going right back to the baseline or those who don't go immediately to the baseline and actually do take some short court practice, they do so in a very casual nature. So as you can see here, stage one is volley to volleys. This is something Dana and I do every single time we go out to the court. Awesome. And you'd be surprised, we know a lot of very, very good players who really struggle with such a simple drill. They have great games, they have good volleys, but just being able to control their volleys back and forth like this is something they don't excel at. Um, there's a lot of value to be gained by sort of warming up this way. You're warming up your wrist, you're warming up your hand-eye coordination, you're trying to stay light on your feet, you're trying to hit the rack, the ball out in front of you, trying to hit it in the sweet spot, and just get yourself, your body moving and your hand-eye coordination in sync. A lot of people Should will skip coming. over this exercise maybe because they think they're too good, but most of the time is because it's not that easy, right? This is actually a challenging exercise. Um, you will yield incredible benefits if you just take your time every time you go out and practice and do this for three to five minutes trying to volley back and forth with one another. Okay, stage two is short court mini tennis. And what I'm indicating right here is don't stand on the service line. You see so many people do this. They go to the service line, they stand on the service line, they're hitting half volleys the whole time. Give yourself a little time and space. Take a step or two back behind the service line. And then work with your partner trying to hit top spin balls back and forth to one another. Try not to be casual. You see a lot of people getting very casual here and hitting slice or just pushing the ball around. That's really not doing anything for you. And if you think that you know maybe you're too good for this, I mean, you're mistaken, right? I mean, every top pro does short court mini tennis virtually every day at every practice. It's their part of their routine. Um, and the fact of the matter is doing short court well is not that easy. It takes a great amount of control to be able to take an abbreviated swing sometimes, not accelerate that fast over the ball, and most importantly, try not to aim right. too high and do these rolling rainbows that you see a lot of people do when they're doing their top spin mini tennis. The net's only three feet high, right? So you you want to really work on trying to get feel and trying to hit the ball anywhere right. between one and three feet over the net. And that's not, that's challenging. And the things to focus on when you're doing short court mini tennis is, you know, make sure you're light on your feet. Get your unit turn in to get your preparation. So make that unit turn, get that preparation established. Get your contact point established and hit the ball in the sweet spot as often as you can. And my favorite thing to do with short court mini tennis is to listen to the sound that the strings make. If you heard that sort of popping tire sound, that sound, each time you hit the ball where you get that just that right amount of spin and control and you get that nice sound with each hit. That's what you're looking to do on mini tennis and get that really nice control on the ball. Dana and I always warm up for at least five minutes on volleys to volleys and then another five minutes on short court mini tennis. Oftentimes much longer, but I would say no less than three to five minutes every time we go out before we move on to stage three, which of course is just going back baseline to baseline hitting. And even here, you're not trying to hit the ball very hard. You're just trying to, now you're trying to go into a nice full swing, continue to hit the ball in the sweet spot, continue to get your body warmed up and get right. ready to go at a fast, and get ready to hit a little bit more aggressively with each shot as you get fully warmed up. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Dana and I are on our 
Dana and I are on a journey to try and get to 100,000 subscribers and we have a long way to go. We, we just started the channel a few weeks ago at the time of this recording. We only have a few hundred subscribers, um, but we're on a long journey to 100,000. So if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next ace. <gasps>